Okay, so you're in a hotel room and you're just booked in and you've got yourself a laptop computer and you've got a big screen TV, all right? Okay, and you want to put what's on your laptop computer on the big screen TV. How do you go about it? Well, you use a remote and obviously you've got to turn the TV on, so I'll do that first. So you have to have a smart TV. This one is, seems to be a smart TV. It's a TCL brand, all right? Comes on. There's a TV on. Okay, so there's an ad. Okay, on this remote, you can see it. It's got a button called Smart TV. Come and focus on the uh, Smart TV. So we, uh, uh, Smart TV. So we press the Smart TV button. Oh, and after a while, after it's gone around, they've got the circle going around lots of times. I don't know what that's doing. It's probably doing some sort of an update. I don't know. But unless that circle goes away, it doesn't work. So one of the problems with these smart TVs is that uh, some of them process are a bit slow. I'll press that button again now, the smart TV button. All right, still nothing happening. Press it again. Still nothing happening. Press it again. Did this just before, I just went through this whole process. I'm pressing the smart TV button. I don't know if this remote's battery's going flat or what. No, there we are. Eventually you get up a screen like that. And one of the things on there is this item here, which is wireless display. Okay? So what I do is you use the arrows, obviously, go across, it's moving across, across, across to wireless display. Oh, no, I didn't get across. I'm there. Oh back, go up, so wireless display, and I press the OK button, and it comes up with this screen, all right, which says Intel wireless display, it says ready for connection to get your, to get started, launch Intel wireless display on your computer, well, I went to my computer, a laptop computer, and I looked for that Intel wireless display, and it said the product is no longer supported, because it's built into Microsoft Windows 10. So, where would you find it in Microsoft Windows 10? Well, it must be something to do with the start. So, what I do is I click on the start button. Okay. And I go into settings. And the settings screen opens up. And under settings, I go into system, which has got display on it. Right. And nothing appears to be there except, of course, if you go over to the right here, and I scroll down, if I can, this is a bit difficult, I'm using a touchpad and do that. Uh, somewhere down here, let's go graphics setting, there it is, that item there. Connect to a wireless display. Now, click on that, and then this over here comes up. And it says, uh, connect search for wireless displays and it comes up with the MSTR Gen 4 Master Display which is that name there on the TV Master said Gen 4 so alright I'm on the same one by the way you've got to be on a Wi-Fi network to do this so the hotel has got a Wi-Fi network I had to connect my laptop to the Wi-Fi network I had to connect the TV to the Wi-Fi network so before those connected it won't work but anyway I click on that and it says do 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 goes through and does some things and it's going across and this is the interesting thing it says enter the following security code on your computer push button security configuration successful okay so I couldn't put in push button there so something's happening here the screen has now gone blank there right and oh, there we are what's on that display is now on that display Okay, now once you've done that, obviously what you can do and have a situation where you uh, move around, by the way, uh, I'm moving the mouse around here, and it's not too bad, sometimes it's a bit slow. If I move it a little bit that fast there, and I move it that fast there, sometimes it's a bit behind. But what you can do is you can uh, duplicate the display, which is normally the case, or what you can do with you've got multiple displays, it's set currently on 
duplicate these displays, which means that what's on this screen is also on the big screen. But what you can do is change here and say, and you can do this wherever you've got two screens on. You can say, extend the display. Whoop, what have I done? I tried to do something by mistake. I say, I want to extend the display, right? So if I click on that, and it says extend these displays. So I do that, all right? You'll notice now on this screen I've got that background and over there I haven't, all right? Now, uh, on the big screen TV, I haven't got that. So what I can do, so I can now say, uh, if I want to, 100% uh, sleep better, somewhere along here it says, Identify the displays. Connect to wireless, extend the displays, and setting. Uh, anyway, identify. Notice I've now got two sprays up there. I click on that one. It says identify. That number comes up one there. If I click over here on this one, and I click there, what should happen? which isn't happening, is a two should appear over there, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> okay, on that one, a two is not appearing. Okay, detect. Okay, click there. There's no two to identify. In other words, what it's saying is the little screen, which is the, two, uh, the laptop, is here, and the other one's to my right. You can actually grab these and change them and move them around. So they're in the different positions. So the, the main screen, if you had the laptop to the, to the right of the, the TV, you could change them around. That means now if I grab this screen here and I move it and put it over to the side there, you'll see it's moving over the side of that screen, but it's now appearing on that screen. So that's how you use multiple displays. Okay. So now... I'm going to switch all this off again. How do I go about it? So if you've come out of that, all right, and I wanted to go, I want to get switch all this functionality off. How do I go about it? Oh, well, you've got to go into settings again. Start it up. Go down to settings. All right. Go into system again. Go into displays. The displays there, and I have to scroll down. This is the thing that's confusing. You don't realise this stuff higher and lower. And somewhere it will say connect connect a wireless display. It's already connected, so I say connect wireless display. I do on that. That thing comes up again, and there's a button for disconnect. So I click on disconnect, and there it is over there, connected. So if I click on disconnect, all right, now that goes back to that. And obviously then I need the remote to come out of this function. On the remote, on this particular function, it just says um, exit. There's an exit button. Exit there. So if I press exit, comes out of that. should go back to, there, back to television. Okay, so in a motel room, if you, now why would you want to do this? The reason you want to do this is you put movies on your computer, on it, when you take it away and you want to watch it on a big screen, you put it on there, it comes up the big screen. The disadvantage is sometimes there's a bit of a delay, so sometimes you can't see it all. Right, any questions, email me. Bye.